there, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I'm here today because it is the last week, very sadly, the last week of our Heather's Haunted Haven Halloween collab. I think I've still got it wrong. Week five and I still can't see it right. I'm so sorry, Heather. <laughs> anyway, this is the fifth week and it is also Halloween. Although I have to say, I'm filming this earlier in the week because I want to get it packaged up because part of this collab is that we're also swapping. So I have got my projects all finished. I'm going to wrap them up and get them sent off to the lovely Sarah from Rare Rue Crafts who is my swap partner. So hopefully by the time Saturday Halloween arrives she will have received the, the package. Um, so week five is crafter's choice so um i did a couple of things i couldn't decide which project to do so i just ended up doing both of them um, so i'm going to show you the first thing which is this memory wire bracelet that i made um so this is partly why i'm sending it early so that if sarah wanted to wear it at the weekend while it's halloween she could, and if not, she can put it away for next year. So, you might have seen on my um, channel that I did a... Uh, um, I joined the um, BB Crafts YouTube programme. And um, so part of that, I ordered some of their lovely memory wire. Um, so I've used that for today's, for this project. So... Um, what I did was I also got some, I ordered a pack of um, Halloween themed beads and charms which came in a little bag. I just got it on, um, but here is the thing here, this is where I got it from, it's from Jules Beads. Um, and there's actually a code there so if anybody wanted to use them, you can get 25% off the and first order of £10 from Jules Beads um, with using that code. So I shall leave that there if anybody's interested. So that's where I got the charms from. So I've just, I've loaded up um, a mixture of little beads, sort of orange and black, and then some um, kind of marbled effect beads, and then these sort of see-through orange and then there's kind of purpley ones here and there's some different um this is a sort of chunkier black see-through bead as well so the charms are there's this little bat which is quite cute there is a little silver pumpkin um there's these little vampire teeth which I'm quite fond of and then on the end I've done a little dangle just a basic dangle so it's got this little skeleton skull with some beads that hangs down so that's the first the first of my projects for week five and then this is the other one so as I said I couldn't decide so I just did both so I picked up this um kind of masquerade little mask in Asda when I was doing my shopping one week um, and I really liked it. It's kind of it's, it's sort of a little bit sparkly um, and I thought I could decorate that and make it into like a little sort of sugar skull mask. So on the inside I used glue to stick down some of the purple pom-pom trim and then at the range, I got some um, these flowers. So it's a couple of packs. They were um, little birdie flowers and they're just beautiful. These are the ones I've got left. So you can see you get some quite big ones and some little um, buds and some bunch of little buds and you get leaves and little sort of tendrils of and things so that's what I've got left I bought a purple pack and a mixed pack um, so with the hot glue gun I 
popped some of those on. I also glued this little bit of trim that I had in my stash. I thought it kind of fitted with the colour. It's like a little bit of kind of crochet trim. I think I think I got given it in the back of a pocket letter sometime. Um, and it's been sitting there just waiting for this project. So I've got the yellow and the purple and the turquoise and then the purple and the turquoise and the pink on this side. And then just to give it that sort of sugar skull look, I stuck these little adhesive gems around both of the eyes and then gave a little love heart one in the middle. So hopefully it looks like a sort of sugar skull. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. So that is my week five projects. So those will get packaged up. Um, and I also just wanted to just so quickly give you a wee summary. So the first week was this um, embellishment box. So you can go back and check that video if you want to see a bit more detail about how I decorated it and what the goodies are that are inside there. Then week two we did our tag flip. Um, so I did this kind of witchy themed one um, with, with the witch, the black cat, the spells and potions, the witchy outfit with her fabulous shoes and hat, and then her broomstick. And again there's a video if you want to see that one in a bit more detail. That was week two. Week three we made a altered hoop which I will show you but again there's a whole video for it if you want to see more information. So that was one side and it's got a little pocket here and here and then on the back another pocket. And then last week we made the embellishments to stuff the hoop with and I had um, I had got them made but not most of them weren't packaged up yet so I thought I'll just show you the packaging and pop them in so you can see. So this little boo sign what I've just attached is a couple of little um, clips which are these little black cats with a sort of witchy theme. Um, I got one of these Boogie Nights Tonic Studio dies to pop in for a little goodie. Um, these little holographic um, mummies, I popped them in a bag with a little topper there. And the owls, I think they were all packaged up. them in there. Um, the page markers I'm fairly sure it were as well. Um, I also I'm um, just I got this little clearly besotted stamp set with these fancy dress owls. I got this I was not sure if it was last year or the year below and I love it and I know that Sarah likes owls so I picked up an extra one to pop in her hoop there. I think I might have over slightly overdone the packaging but never mind. Um, I did these little kitty cats with the full moon behind them so that's now packaged up with a little bit of jammies at the top. Um, and my pumpkins are packaged up with this little happy haunting did a bit of paper piecing there. Yes, and then my um, rosettes. I've popped three of them in there and then popped one on the outside and I just stamped this and coloured the hat um, and added a little bat with some Nouveau Drop orange eyes. And I don't think that one is going to fit in. And then I've just got some Halloween sweeties. Look at these. 
Although I was really disappointed, I bought a big bag of them and I had one the other day and it's just the wrapper that's got the eyeball on it. Inside they're just kind of plain white, but anyway, I thought they were quite fun. So all of this is going to get packaged up and sent off to Sarah. Um, so by the time this video goes up on Saturday, she will have hopefully received it. Um, so she's getting a sneak peek at the, the last bit. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed watching um, the collab videos. It's been really good fun to be part of. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to Heather for uh, organising it all and for um, working um, to make sure that I could join in. Um, initially I wasn't sure if I was going to get to join in because... Um, because of the swap element, she was really keen that people didn't have to send internationally because obviously it's going to be, you know, a reasonable sized package. Um, so she went to the extra bother to find me a partner um, in the UK and I really appreciate that. Um, it's been great fun. I've found lots of new crafters to watch on YouTube and um, every week I've had inspiration from people. It's been really interesting to see how people do the different um, projects and I've learned lots of inspiration and new ideas and I can't wait to see for Crafter's Choice what people make today um, so that is going to be fun so thank you again for watching if you've enjoyed please um, give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and if you've not subscribed already I would love it if you would it's um, I think I am over the 200 subscribers now, which is baffling to me, um, but I'm really enjoying seeing my channel grow. So thank you very much again. Have a fantastic Halloween. Um, stay safe and all that. Um, and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.